Now, as far as contemporary uh, contemporary uh, examples of propaganda, uh, you are in a in a, a very valuable fight against what we're all really. I mean, there's it's a war that we're embattled in right now, and you're you're playing a very important role in in doubling down and creating new opportunities for people to get educated outside of what you said, what you very rightly described it as being an indoctrination system, and. Um, I have to imagine that you have to pay attention to the media at least lightly to bring in new examples of how media and those who are controlling the strings behind them, writing the messaging and all that, are trying to manipulate people um, emotionally. Do you have any contemporary examples and uh, things that you've been paying attention to? I do. I pulled a few examples for the show, and to be perfectly honest... I go in and out of paying attention because it hurts my heart. Like, and sometimes I just get so frustrated and so angry. And I know Louche collection is a big part of what's happening mm. behind the scenes. So, you know, I go in and out, I take big breaks. Um, and I came back and did a little research so that I could have something um, that you and I and, and your audience could play with together. Okay. So uh, now you said the share screen. Do I just share the screen that you're on right now? Let me see so, there. Okay, it said host disabled. Okay, so now you're sharing your screen? Yeah, see, I'm, I'm, a, I'm ladies and gentlemen, this is not Danny's fault. I just am still learning Zoom, so you please, you have to, you have to just go easy on me. So, so I think if you click participants mm -hmm. and my name comes up, there will be an option next to it that says share share screen wait a second hold on make make host if you make me host i promise i'll be very responsible go ahead with it go ahead we're done sharing <laughs> okay cool um, be a host all right so sharing the screen let's see what my options are okay so i knew that i was coming on um sunday so oh, sunday i i cleared the day to do research on this see no one needs to see what's going on in the background here and it was kind of shocking how easy it was to find um this stuff is everywhere all right stand by yes. here we go okay so this was in and i looked in places where i didn't think you would necessarily be looking so this was on vice news can you see this frank yes i can cool okay so the um the headline, Pure Cruelty, Florida is Stepping Up Its War on Trans People. So, so that's the headline right now. Pretty, pretty incendiary. Um, and then the very first sentence is, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis launched a full-scale attack <laughs> on access to transgender health care in his state. Wow, full-scale attack. Wow. Well, full-scale attack. And what I find particularly notable about this is um, the narcissism of the identitarian movement and the narcissism that's involved where everything that we don't like is a deliberate attack on us, mm. right? Where we're like those who are choosing to ascribe to these ideologies and these identitarian values will, will choose to place themselves front and center in everyone's story. So it's not that Governor DeSantis is is passing laws, you know, so that taxpayers aren't paying for specific healthcare choices or to protect children who aren't legally allowed to drink or get tattoos, let alone make such permanent decisions, but that it's a full scale attack on trans people. You know, Danny, I, when I when I'm uh, sometimes I'm listening to talk radio at night. And uh, the only thing I hate about listening to talk radio these days is that I have to perfectly time when to come back from a, a break because I cannot listen to any of the news briefs. It is incredible how across every radio station in this country, when they do a news brief, and even if they're just talking about something that's pretty mundane that happened in Congress, it is always, and you can hear it, it is always presented in the standpoint from uh, even if the Dem if the Democrats the Democrat Party makes some sort of a mistake or they flubbed something or whatever, it's not talking about how uh, an idea they had was had caused harm or did not did not make the the grade somewhere or whatever. It was about 
oh, uh, it, it always sounds like, oh, no, those Republicans are, are, are gaining on us. And the, th- this could really help the Republicans. It, it's, it's so crazy to hear how everything is about there's an attack on us. And not that I care about Republicans winning one thing or another, but you can just tell what the teams are and what the plot summary of everything is, what the, who, who the good guys and the bad guys are. Because when the good guys make mistakes that cause damage, that, that, that completely impoverish people, that kill people overseas, whatever the hell it is, it was done for the right reasons. But, it, but if, if, it, if it turns out that it, it went south, it's really bad because the evil political opposition here at home may get a few more seats in the in Congress. That's it, it's sick. It, it's completely sick, and it's so like over the charts, like out of control in terms of the polarization, the us them. Like there's not even you know the appearances of being objective of being neutral like that's all been completely obliterated because they've created this narrative that republicans are evil and i don't understand how how traditional journalists are going along with this and can sleep at night you know like that that is for me that's cognitive dissonance you know that i don't understand how this is going on and you know i did pull one of these examples um it was, th- oh, was it this one? Hang on. You know what, I might not have pulled it, but it was just the partisan languaging has gotten so out of control where it, it's just not even relevant to the story, but they'll, they'll back it into that corner, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, so just finishing up this, this particular example, we have, you know, this gender affirming care, which I've never heard that phrase, but that's being utilized in this article. Um, and there, there are just no auspices of objectivity. The one lawyer and journalist that they reference is clearly a trans person. <laughs> yeah. And, and they keep citing these tweets. Um, you know, we, we see the weaponized word pseudoscience in here. Debunked, um, debunked too. They love that. They, oh yeah, they loved it, but I'm sure one of their like bought and paid for fact checkers. And I think these days, if something's fact checked, then we know that it's true. <laughs> yes, that, that's really what it is. It, 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 it's actually uh, as basic as things like movie reviews, Danny. If they, if there is a movie that gets released these days that gets really uh, critically panned, I know that it's probably worth watching. Yeah, it's just upside down clown world. Like it's, you know, I, I teach my students about inversions and it's a super inversion. Like if they say black, you know, it's white. If they say up, you know, it's down. Hmm. Um, so this one we have, you know, this is CNN uh, and this went out in their newsletter. So th- they're not claiming that it's an editorial, which I find odd because they're saying they keep calling Zelensky a hero. They can't not mention Trump even when he has nothing to do with the story. So the way they back it in on this one, Zelensky, the president of a smaller country who wouldn't dig up dirt on Joe Biden for Donald Trump. (laughs) And then they jump in again with a Trump comparison while Trump used social media to beat down opponents like a bully and chip away at confidence. Like, this is atrocious. I don't see how this passes as journalism. It's not. And then they tell us that he deserves awe and praise. (laughs) Yes. And and of course, a hundred billion dollars that we don't have, Danny. That's what they need. That makes everything yeah. better. Right, of course. Like, we have people here starving, mothers who don't have formula for their kids, but let's just send them weapons while we disarm our own country. Great, great idea. 